Here at halftime the Huskies trailing 20 to 3. Keep in mind in past years Washington's made a habit of coming back from 21 point uh, deficits and winning. My pal right here Chuck Nelson kicked a field goal with 11 seconds to go to come back to win. And let's look at some of the highlights that created such a big hole in the part of Washington and good play by California. First this was interception number two by Jared Willard their inside linebacker that set up the first touchdown of the day. Damon Hewitt had already thrown one that Cal was unable to take advantage of. Jared Willard gets to interception number two on the day on the very first play first down from the 25 yard line. Dave Barr sees it Mike Caldwell has one on one coverage over here with Reggie Reeser the lob pass that they worked so successfully last week against Oregon. California touchdown on the board once again to take them to 13 to 3. Doug Bryan stretched it out later and had a 52 yard field goal. It was outstanding showing some of the leg that he's got. Doug Bryan one of the best in the conference 26 for 28 coming into the game missed one earlier but from 52 this is right down the middle had a good five six yards on it. That's a big kick for Coach Gilbertson's California <laughs> Bears. He's a happy bear. Absolutely. And then from there they got one more touchdown. Holly the fullback catching on the right side. So just kind of play action on the goal line roll out to the right. You've got one man deep flat one man short flat. Marty Holly second touchdown for him on the year 20 to 3 Golden Bears. And statistically one thing Chuck talked about quite a bit was time of possession. Look at that on the bottom of your screen 18 and a half to 11 and a half minutes. And obviously the other big stat on that is the turnovers there four yes. for Washington three interceptions and then the fumble inside the California 10 yard line when it looked like they'd have a chance to score California very good decisions by Dave Barr no turnovers 14 for 18 for Dave Barr in the first half. Guess who. B.A. Emerson once again with his fourth kickoff return second today uh, second today that he's brought it outside the 35 yard line as well. He's given those Huskies great field position. They're going to start kicking it to somebody else. Al LeVan talking it over with his quarterback Damon Heward and Eric Bjornsson is having to signal the plays in now. Tight end coach Miles Corrigan usually gets the signal from Red Jeff Woodruff in the booth and signals in them. Tight end coach Miles Corrigan's got a bad hamstring. <laughs> he's, he's playing hurt and missing some time. First and 10 for the Huskies. They receive on the kickoff, of course. Ball on the 36 yard line, and they trail big time. Matt Jones, pretty good first down play of three to four yards. First, stopped by Eric Zomo. First play of this ball game. Washington ran the fullback up the middle as well. First play of the second half, same thing. You came back against California in your career. You were down by 21. Uh, come back, come back twice in 1979. The Husky history of comebacks against California began. Just a second, one injury on the on the play, and that's Eric Zomalt, the strong safety for uh, California, who came in on the play and took a stinger. And Gilby's coming out. To continue the thought, in 1979, the Huskies. Got outplayed dramatically. Cal had a 417 to 252 yard advantage in total offense, but Husky fans will remember Mark Lee ran a punt back 64 yards with six minutes to go, and the Huskies came back to win 28 24 in 1981. We were, we being me as a member of the Huskies, <laughs> uh, were down 21 to nothing. This is a big blow to this defense of course for California he's been a starter for a number of years since a freshman I believe. Second down and six with a wide receiver to the left is Theron Hill and it's student body left for the Huskies. Hoffman short yardage as he gets up to about the 43 yard line and he's stopped by Bill Ayer. A social science major for California. Napoleon Kaufman, 49 yards in the first half, tacks on a couple more there. We talked earlier about the success they had when he's over 100 yards for the day. He's halfway there. The Huskies have more than halfway to go. You see the blow delivered coming from the inside by number 54 Dwayne Clemens and the Huskies with a third and short one for six on third down in the first half and the crowd is loud as Matt Jones is going to get it on second effort Michael Davis on top of Jones let's wait and see if they give him every bounce he certainly has it the spot is going to be very close. 
He should have it if the lines are straight like he, I said he should have it if effort counts for anything as well you see Matt Jones and Michael Davis in a wrestling match they give him that extra shoulder shrug I think that might be a little bit extra seeing some nice fire in Matt Jones though here in the second half and he needs to be he's one of the captains he needs to have that fire inside be well, a leader somebody's going to have to do something there wasn't a whole lot of fire shown as you see it is a Husky first down absolutely nice conversion there they only did that once in the first half. As you pointed out earlier one of six well, that keeps the drive alive you keep California off the field too they've got so many big play players you give Dave Barr almost 19 minutes of offense and a half and he's going to make some things happen he's going to get some points on the board Michael Davis the senior outside linebacker been a busy guy today first and 10 on the 47 of Washington again only one wide receiver tight end Bruner first catch of the day good for about four yards up to midfield and he stopped by. Jessica Moore, a junior out of Wairika, California. Boy, a lot of people playing on the defense for California today. One of the bright spots of the Husky offense last week when they felt like they got some things going was the reintroduction of the tight end into the Husky offense. Mark Bruner, his first reception today. Ernie Conwell, the other tight end, with only one today as well. Second down and seven. Kaufman going in motion. Setting it up for Janowski. And is not. He's stopped by Paul Joyner. He had the interference coming. And he didn't really use his blockers that well, Chuck. Well, you've got all the help is coming from the inside, running full speed to the outside. Dave Janowski catches this ball and runs right back into traffic. See some big bodies flash across your screen right there. Andy Peterson. Pulling off big guys. Trying to make some things happen. Paul Joyner trying to stop him from happening and Joyner wins that battle another third down situation. They need five for the first down. Here comes the heat. Bruner has it first down and much much more down to the 24 yard line and somehow Damon Yord is able to get the ball away. He is stopped by Dante DePaula and Artis Houston that being Mark Bruner and he is hurt. Taking some time to get his bearings. California once again brings some outside people. Comes See Willard. Willard looping around from the outside. Damon Heward can wait long enough to get the ball to Mark Bruner. Artis Houston gets the first blow. And then Dante DePaula delivers the knockout hit from the left side. And when you land noggin first, sometimes it takes you a minute to get your bearings back. He's not sure if he's in Berkeley, Oakland, San Francisco, or San Mateo right now, probably. Well, as long as he knows what to do on the <laughs> on trips right XYZ reverse <laughs> checkout, he's okay. He doesn't care, he doesn't have to know where he is as long as he knows what to do. Ernie Conwell in there now. There's the pitch. McCody and Kaufman. Sometimes, like you say, maybe they're almost too cute. With his speed, he should have gone and fired for the sideline. Well when you've got a 40 pound per man weight advantage on the offensive line Use your in blockers. terms of terms of play calling as well. Why are we trying to be so cute sometimes. Paul Joyner and Jared Willard the linebackers inside doing a great job but he got some help. Second down and 13 on the loss of three so Frolic and DJ McCarthy are wide to the left side Jones and Napoleon Kaufman here's the rollout. Fumble, cow ball. Jared Willard in a one man show. Rolling to your left and trying to throw back is difficult to do. The one thing that you've got to do is control the football. Jarrett Willard, one interception already today. A fumble recovery right here. Why that ball is coming out with Jared Willard in your face like that, I don't know. Turnover number five to zero for California. That was the opening drive on the kickoff. Dave Barr still picks up about four yards on the scamper he was looking for Semyon wide to the left side Steve Springstead and Jamal Fontaine on the stop Jared Willard came up with that beautiful play individually they always say don't let his boyish good looks deceive you he is such a rough and tough football player 
It says something close to that in the press book. Talking about those five turnovers for the Huskies as well. Remember, one of them was down around the Cal 10-yard line. This one down around the Cal 30-yard line. You've basically given up at least 10 points. A lot of room for Barr. That's the first down. And up to the 47-48 yard line. Dave Barr is methodically picking apart this defense with a lot of help from his friends. Lamar Lyons on the tackle. And you've got coverage people following their man running with the receiver. They're not looking back at the quarterback all the time and when those receivers are deep there is a lot of AstroTurf to cover. Dave Barr covers most of it first before Lamar Lyons can wrestle him down. California playing with a lot of confidence right now rightfully so as they lead by 17. Ten minutes to go third quarter. First and ten. Holly has the first down down to the 35 yard line stopped by Lamar Lyons. Holly's longest play was eight yards coming in on this. This is a California offense remember that scored 35 points in the second half against Oregon 20 in the first half versus the Huskies here today they average 44 points a game they're on pace to do that today bar on first down here comes Holly again has the first down Lewis Jones brings him down Gilby's got him guessing now completely. He's got him guessing. He's got the Huskies guessing and he's got his guys playing some serious football. You're making good decisions from the quarterback position and having the time to make those decisions. Marty Holly has had some good success today. Touchdown reception earlier in the game. Raynard Rutherford rambles his way down to the 10. My goodness, they're showing power football now that at least Washington was able to curb somewhat in the first half. Husky defense playing on their heels. Once the steamroller gets started, the law of inertia. <laughs> takes well, and, and you don't know what's fact. coming. You know, when you don't know what's coming, boy, have you got an advantage to your side. Second down and two. Rutherford brought down in the backfield, and DeMarco Farr is in there. Mark on your calendars November 13th. That is when Arizona comes in to take on this California team. And it's going to come down to those two, I have a feeling. Cal with a good schedule. Because they've got, what? I think USC comes in here. Correct. USC. Well, if they go to Washington State next week at ASU at Stanford, and that won't be easy. So both SC and Arizona are up here. Cal calls timeout. But in a, in a, a favorable schedule for these Bears for the rest of 93. Back in a minute. Still 20 to 3 here in the third quarter, 8.03 remaining. Clouds are settling in here a little bit, but you'll be, it's a bright, sunny day <laughs> for the Golden Bears. This team has a shot against Arizona if both teams continue to improve in that race for the Roses. And I'll be the first to say, of many people who feel it, is since Washington can't go to the Rose Bowl, I think we'd all love to see Cal go. You've got this game over, don't you, Don? I do. I do. I don't see anything happening down there, and I hope I'm wrong. Eric Zomo, by the way. DeMarco Farr on the stop. Eric Zomo, we just got a report, is sprained ligaments in his right knee and will not return. So Doug Bryan will come back in to attempt a field goal of about 32 yards from the left side.
from 32 and it is good and the lead is extended to a full 20 points. 23 to 3 let's take a timeout 725 remaining third quarter. The field goal by Doug Bryan. He's third of the day. He's hit from 23, 52, and 32, and extends the lead to a 23 to 3 margin. So now you're looking obviously at three touchdowns. And the way things are going today, that might be a tall order for this Husky team. This time an up man, other than B.A. Emerson, as it is brought down by number 97. David Ritchie one of the defensive tackles or defensive ends Gerard Cherry made the stop and Bino and Napoleon Kaufman once again don't get a chance John Ralston's the one who did it last week for San Jose State calling the, the squib kick and obviously Keith Gilbertson liked what he saw so yeah, he has done the same Damon Hewitt still in a quarterback he has suffered a fumble and three interceptions today. One of them really a batted football that was picked up. First and ten on the 34. Looking deep. Ron Hill can't do it. Nearly picked off by Ike Booth. Probably California's been around every pass, Chuck. That ball definitely deserved to be picked off. Ike Booth gets both hands on it, and then I think it hits him right in the noggin. See, he breaks on the ball, the ball thrown high and behind Theron Hill. Mr. Booth's going to take a little heat for that in practice this week. Sure does. <laughs> Keep your eye on the ball. Can't help it. Theron Hill tries to make the great play. Can't quite recover in time to get on it. Second and 10. David Hewitt now 7 for 13. Bino, oh. Bino Bryant's a tailback now, Chuck, and he gets the handoff. Trying to get a spurt of energy into this offense and he does a nice job picking up seven yards before he is tackled by Michael Davis San Dante DePaulo. You know Brian a big part of that Husky comeback victory two years ago when both of these programs were at their peak his 65 yard touchdown in the fourth quarter to answer Lindsey Chapman's 68 yarder just before that to put the Huskies on top and one of the best college football games I've ever seen. It really was. Koloski at quarterback for Cal. Unbelievable. Third down and three. Going right back to Bino. Fumble. And the scramble continues in the bottom of the pile. Which one of those guys is what? Man Mountain Mike and the guy. Destroyer. Webb has a, a hold of a foot for a minute there. Yeah, Gilby's already made the decision. <laughs> Gilby says, let's go this way. Says, I want my offense on the field. We know it's ours. Oh, my golly, they're saying fourth down, and evidently P.A. Emerson or someone in there doing a great job of holding on to it. Some serious wrestling going on at the bottom. Either way, Cal will get the ball. And John Wardell will have to punt. And the student body for California giving its defense a real cheer. Boy, right off the head of Paul Joyner. They took it away. Tried to make things happen. Sometimes you lose track of fundamentals. Wardell. Almost blocked. Tail dragger. And Matt Glitzby takes it at the 27 yard line. Timeout on the field. We'll be back right after this.
pretty much tells the story. A 20 point lead for California with just over five and a half minutes to go in the third. Following that punt by John Wardell. And it's first and 10 on the 27 yard line for Dave Barr, who has been nothing short of sensational. And that is the first sack of the day by Andy Mason and the Washington Huskies. Andy Mason says if the offense isn't going to make big plays, let's have the defense make big plays. And it's about time. Fourth quarterback sack on the year. Andy Mason just comes clean from Dave Barr's backside. Barr sees him and reacts a little bit, but no place to throw it. Good job of tucking the ball away when Andy Mason does get there. So it'll be a loss of nine. Second and 19. Ball back to the 18 yard line. Fullback in motion. Student body right. As Rutherford gets a little yardage. Hillary Butler in there along with Andy Mason. As well as Jamal Fontaine on the bottom. Rutherford certainly filling in ably for Lindsay Chapman. And Lambright hoping there's something on that piece of paper that's going to stop this California <laughs> Took the hat offense. off, didn't he? <laughs> This is Gilby's wearing a hat. I'm going to take mine off. This reminds me of the spring games you and I used to do. And Gilby was coaching one team, Jim the other. And Jim third. always lost. And he did. Third and 21. <laughs> Trends continue. DeMarco Farr can't get him with the right hand. Josh Moore almost. Nice job by Josh Moore breaking on the ball and getting enough of it to keep it away from Damian Semien. The Husky defense does their bit. Should get some good field position for a Husky offense is going to run out of time. Yeah. Four very and a half. soon if they don't make something happen on this drive they're three touchdowns away even two touchdowns with two point conversions and a field goal still don't do it so they got to get it in the end zone three times. Ryan Longwell back to punt. Pretty good distance wobbly Bino's got something to do with it he's going to try to run. Gave it to B. Oh my goodness. Gave it to Kaufman. He can go. No. Flag goes down. You know that means it's probably a clip. Kaufman takes it in, but the flag is down back on the 50. And it's exactly that kind of day for Washington. Every time they get something going, something goes wrong. Even when you do something right, you do something wrong. A great illegal block in the back. Against the receiving team. Penalty will be 10 yards from the spot of the foul. First down. A great call by Jim Lambright calling the reverse. The ball punted right where you want it to be punted to run that kind of play. That great job, too, by Bino handing off somehow to Napoleon. Perfect blocking. See if we can get a look at it. You see Bino Bryant starts to left. Napoleon comes back to the right hand side. Can't see the see their official throwing the flag, but you Cameras. can't see the block itself. And then Napoleon Kaufman simply outruns Ryan Longwell into the end zone. Let's see if we can get another look right. Well, you see somebody going down right there. Lamar Lyons, the Husky in the area. Hmm. Too bad. Forget it. Well, that's the offense's turn then. The defense has made big plays. Special teams tried to make a big play. It's the offense's turn. 4-11 to go third quarter. Conwell who is a very very fast tight end and gets the first down. Dante DiPaolo makes the stop. Well we've seen the tight end become a part of this Husky offense in this second half the first quarter virtually non-existent after being so successful last week. Bruner banged up in the third quarter as well but he's back out there. Double tight end. Something Washington likes to run a lot with Theron Hill on the bottom of the screen. Well, when you've got two tight ends like Bruner and Conwell that are great receivers as well, two tight ends doesn't necessarily mean a running formation. Bino Bryant, good first down yardage to the 45 yard line, and he's stopped again by Dante DiPaolo, a sophomore out of Monte Rio, California. El Molino High School. And he has played a lot today as Jared Willard is on the sidelines for the time being. No, check that. Looked at the monitor and thought he was standing on the side, but he's of course running this place and had 22 more tackles than anybody else on his team going in. So you know he's not going to be there very often. Second down and five after Bino's carry. Both receivers to the right, both tight ends in there. Check off. Bino again. 
Cutting back's got one man to get around. Can he? Almost. And is pulled out of bounds at the 32, but gets the first down as Artis Houston wrestles him OB. Great and decision by Damon Heward on the checkoff. Obviously saw something that set up this game by Ben O'Brien. You see the nice hole in the middle of the, even on the alignment, Jarrett Willard pushed out of the play, and then Bino gets a chance to open throttle a little bit. Artis Houston gets enough Bino nylon. Bino looks good. Bino looks very good. We talked the last couple of weeks about how Bino is hitting the hole, and Napoleon is waiting and reading. A game like this, you better make everything happen fast. They fake it. Flag goes down far side of the field. They fake the handoff to Kaufman, and then the pass, of course, batted. Paul Joyner may have been the one that did it, number one. But let's see what the flag's about. Got some movement on the California side of the ball. Well, Washington needs something in their favor to happen. <laughs> Defense offside. They were in the neutral zone at the snap. There you go. Well, California has done everything they can in terms of penalties, as Artie Gigantino yes. says. Come on, fellas. We've got a 20 point lead. We don't need to line up in the neutral zone. Look at the ball. Over 100 yards in penalties now on California. Huskies have got to get something here. Get it's seven. first and five. They've got seven. to get seven. Yes, you're right. Not just three, but seven. Kaufman trying to get away. Close to the first down, inside the 25 to about the 23, where Jared Willard met him, along with Jessica Moore, one of the backup strong safeties. Looked awfully close that Michael Davis was offsides, the, the linebacker on this side, too. But no call. It'll be second down and one as Coffin picked up four. Richard Thomas comes in with Krolik and Napoleon Kaufman. Second and one. What do you think? Single man coverage on Krolik, the only wide receiver with a play action. He thought about it, and he'll get the first down. There goes Hewer down to the 10, and out of bounds inside the five-yard line, down to the four, where it'll be first and goal. 2:03 left in the third quarter. Dante DiPaolo is the one who forced him out of bounds. Gilby's thinking this 20-point lead isn't enough. It isn't enough. Well, he knows he knows that a team can come back from a big deficit because his team did it just last week, coming back from that 30 points down to Oregon and he knows that the competitiveness of this Washington sideline they're not going to quit timeout called by California so we'll take a timeout as well 203 remaining in the third quarter Washington knocking on the door but they are down by 20. For Washington with 203 left in the third quarter trailing by 20 it's first and goal from the four Kaufman is the tailback Leif Johnson now with the lead block Kaufman touchdown first down Wow that hole was big enough for Nelson to score in. <laughs> watch the celebration guys you're going to look at 15 yards I think you can celebrate all you want if you're just giving hugs to your teammates yeah, problem it, term, it's that interpretation the baby problem <laughs> comes when you start talking to the crowd or the other team Napoleon Kaufman happy to happy to get there a lot of happy Huskies happy to see him in there incredibly well blocked play see everybody flows to this side and Napoleon Kaufman goes backside two tight ends plus Leif Johnson the extra fullback Richard Thomas score that one uh, to Jeff Woodruff and it's good so Washington has cut the lead from 20 to 13. Two touchdowns he is the lead. Well, a good defensive series on the last time out for the Husky defense. Good offensive series for the offense here. Yes. First signs of life on either yeah. side of the ball virtually all day long. Not a smile to be found anywhere. It is all business right now. Ronnie Milets, the cornerback coach, former Husky player under Don James, now on the staff. 
Husky defense ready to go make something happen again. Benjamin from the five. Trying to pick and choose his way and Lewis Jones and company along with Leif Johnson coming in for the kill. On kickoff returns your choices are limited. Your choice is basically run fast to the left, run fast to the right, or run fast up the middle. You cannot stop anywhere or Leif Johnson and his friends are going to make you see the first. Time to go to work. The whole offense over on the sidelines and out it comes representing the California Bears and Keith Gilbertson. You get a sense from this Cal crowd that they recognize that the game's not over as well. A lot of Husky fans too. There are some of them. Flew down better than 2500. The tight end Remington in motion on first and ten. Rutherford and they close him down very quickly. Lewis Jones and nice penetration again in the backfield. Gain of about four. And a Cal Bear is down he in the Husky secondary. One of the wide receivers. And Damian Semyon. One of their senior wide receivers. Kind of curious how they, he can get he poked in the eye or something when he's blocking away from the play. Might have gotten his bell rung too. You say, how do you get your bell rung when you're 30 yards, 30 yards he from went, the point of attack? Went after that cornerback <laughs> with a vengeance, didn't it? There they had the vengeance. Quarter, the cornerback went at him with a vengeance. <laughs> this California offense would love to practice a little bit of ball control here. They got four yards on first down there. Keith Gilbertson would love to get four yards per play. Andy Mason clock. has come off the field all of a sudden and is sitting on the bench with the trainer Dennis Seeley. I think what Andy's got is actually his shoe came off and he's got his tape outside his shoe so he's going to have to cut it all off. Screen pass or rather a little delay to the tight end Remington and knocked out of bounds by Josh Moore. They have the first down. Brian Remington that's he only had four catches coming in this year. California has three tight ends that they like to use Remington the leader of that gang but you talk about all the things that Cal can do and likes to do they throw the ball to the backs their backs carry the ball from scrimmage they throw the ball to the wide receivers they throw it to the tight end lots of weapons first and ten from the thirty two and they bring in some fresh legs that being Tyrone Edwards number nine a junior out of West Covina California and Richie Chambers makes the tackle. He's a quickie. Edwards, Quick it. Edwards is technically the backup fullback and he has twice as many carries as the starting fullback Marty Hawley more of a running back from that position 6 2 2 10 and you see he's got some quick feet as well. Washington catching up slowly. Total yards in the first half. California had 243 only 50 some yards here in the quarter second down and six they're going to go deep and the pass well short as lawyer Malloy was covering the ways okay Lawyer Malloy step for step there the ball under thrown the ways okay the only one of the two there to come back and try to make a play a kind of an old cliff branch type of bomb for the Bay Area fans about the worst pass we've seen bar throw today. Well, his arms getting tired. It must be <laughs> third down and six for the Bears. Big down here. Big down here. Thirty nine seconds left third quarter. Huskies need the ball in a hurry. Got some motion on the offense. <laughs> and it's our pal the Strong side tackle Brian Thury. I unofficially, according to the press box, third penalty on him. <laughs> Funny offense. Third penalty on him today. The problem is when you're almost 300 pounds, it's hard to hide any movement. That's very true. <laughs> so that helps the Huskies considerably because it'll still be third down. Yeah, look make at it third and eleven. The tackle on this side of the field. Oops. The shoulders Oops. and the well, that's right guard swimming as there. well. That was he and Ben Lynch shackled together. Far over 200 yards passing. 208. Third down and he needs 11 yards this time. Benjamin in motion. Some pressure. There's some serious holding interception. Lewis Jones. 
His third of the year, but never so important. And indeed, that is an interception. And chalk up the pressure on the quarterback, as well as some good defense in the secondary. Well, you talked about how much of an advantage it is for the offense when the defense doesn't know what you're going to do. Third down and 11, you're pretty sure they're going to pass it to Marco Farr and his mates are coming. You see just enough on the ball there by Damian Simeon and Lewis Jones breaking on the ball. Opportunity knocking loud for the Huskies. First and 10 from the 40 yard line. 32 seconds left here in the third quarter. Going to throw right away. Kaufman one on two. He's not going to win the odds too many times with the sideline that close to him. Michael Davis and Artis Houston surround him and knock him out of bounds. Well, you add that sideline and it's one on three. Didn't have many choices. At least it stops the clock. 26 seconds to go in the third quarter. A touchdown by the Huskies obviously makes things a lot more interesting. I think Vino's look better than Kaufman today at tailback. I tend to agree with you. Second down and eight. Two wideouts to the right. Kaufman in the backfield. Kaufman all the way. Still alive. Wraps up. Is wrapped up rather by Paul Joyner, the inside backer, along with Willard. That's a perfect example of what we've been talking about. Seemed to be a hole at the point of attack. Napoleon Kaufman gets the handoff, comes to a dead stop, makes some incredible moves to pick up the yards that he did. If he takes that handoff and hits the hole, he's got five more yards. Third quarter comes to an end. Washington scores in the third quarter its first touchdown and trails 23 to 10. The final stanza coming up right after this.